So today is quite a cool day because I've had the last of my deliveries to arrive from Japan. Absolute best place to buy wheels, by the way. And here is our wheels. So we actually have another two, no, we've got another four of these boxes. There's two wheels in each box, so that's a set of wheels. 12 wheels in total to unbox today. So these are Sparco NS2 Pythons. You don't see these very often outside of Japan. I got these from Yahoo Auctions and they are 17 by 8J ET35. So they're a decent spec, not massive, but you know, they will look sick on my Mazda, but I'm not putting those on. These are Wedsport SA67Rs and these are also not going on my MX-5, but I did buy them because I loved them because they're Weds. And these are 17 by 7.5 J, ET35 as well. Anyway, the wheels in question, which I absolutely had to buy, are my dream wheels, the Advan RG2. This set of Advans is 17 by 8 ET35, which to be honest is a pretty decent spec to find for an MX-5 sized vehicle. And I got them for a good price too. Usually they're at least three times the price listed. Granted, they aren't in perfect condition, but neither is my car. So let's put some tires on and whack them on the car. Just microwaving my breakfast.
Right, so we've got our tyres mounted to our Advans, which is sick, they're looking primo. Now we're gonna have to take the other wheels off, take the spacers that I've got on, four by 100 spacers, um, whack on the adapters from four by 100 to five by 1143, and then we can raise the suspension, because it is sitting quite low at the moment. Remember, it was on smaller wheels, so to look good, you've got to be like on the floor. I don't know, we might have to roll the arches as well today, so let's have a look. So this was the first time that I actually got a look at these adapters. There's a couple of different types of adapters on the market, uh, but these are single piece ones. So this means that you've got to basically thread a new lug, which is offset and it spins round and bolts onto one of the existing lugs. So it's a bit confusing, but it seems to work. And here I'm adding a normal 4x100 spacer behind my adapter just because the current lug nuts that stick out are a bit too long for the wheel to go on. I was trying to eliminate the possibility of having to cut my lug nuts, which as you'll see I had to end up doing anyway. The 4x100 lugs on this car have always given me such annoyance, really limiting my choice of wheels etc and therefore tyres etc. So I'm okay with cutting these with an ankle grinder. I'm just gonna send it because I intend to keep these 551143 adapters on for like as long as I can. There's so much more wheel options and that's really what sparked me buying three sets of wheels in the first place. You will notice as well that one of the lugs is cut shorter than the rest. This is for the offset lug nut. And here is the moment of truth. If the offset lug nut sits flush or below the surface of the spacer, then we're all good. Perfect. So this is looking rather like a DTM touring car right eye at the moment. This isn't going to work because when we turn the wheels it's going to destroy the fender and it's going to rub massively so I need to raise the car up. So now we just need to put the wheels on the other side.
so that is all for Advance on the car. Next on my list of things to do is install this steering wheel. I took my original steering wheel off this car and I recovered it with a kit that I bought from Amazon. This is a full leather pre-stitched kit. All you have to do is put it on the wheel and stitch it together. It was a little bit difficult and it did take a couple of hours of my time, but compared to how the original steering wheel looked, this looks insane. I absolutely love it. As you can see, black and red is the theme of my interior for this car. And I took this idea from the needles on the dials. I also jeweled my gauge cluster. I know this isn't to everyone's tastes, but I promise you when you're driving this car, it looks really awesome. And it matches all of the red dash lights that I have. <laughs> I would also like to add that although I have a roll bar, I don't run bucket seats or harnesses. So there's literally no reason for me to get an aftermarket wheel sans airbag. So now that we've reconnected the steering wheel and the airbag, we're going to reconnect the battery. Now let's see if this thing starts. I can't tell you how happy I am at this point to see this car on the ground again on some nice new wheels and tires for that matter. It's been a long time. I've been welding up this car and repairing general things for probably a good two years now. So now I'm looking to adjust the ride height of my car now that the wheels are on and nowhere on the gravel is there a flat piece of ground. So I'm going to go and take this over to the tarmac. Okay, so outing one, you can see that we have a load of rake. It wasn't that obvious when I had smaller wheels on, but now we've got the 17s on, it's really apparent how much higher the rear end sits. So that's all we've got time for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. In the meantime, enjoy some beauty shots of the car. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you've made it this far, you are an absolute legend, so thank you for that. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It really helps with the algorithm. And if you want to see more of these videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, and you can see all the content you please.